The Frey Festival Workshop is aimed at providing training for secondary school learners. The workshops target learners who are involved in arts projects such as drama, musical theatre, poetry and dance. The idea of hosting workshops came in order to broaden an audience for the Frey Festival. Organizers of the event, Godfrey Maneni and Andile Ongo, pioneered the idea of offering workshops to disadvantaged schools in the Free State and the Northern Cape Province with the belief that the Frey Festival workshops would bring more productions and build the interest of participants. My name is Andy Lepongo and I'm one of the project facilitators of the Fox Blood Art School Festival. When it comes to challenges, you know, uh, I think when we started it was just mainly having too many kids, you know, and trying to organize uh, kids, as many kids as possible. And obviously arts being traditionally not supported by our communities, you know, that was the main challenge. But uh, we were glad to see the schools themselves, the principals, the teachers actually coming forth and encouraging the kids and actually even reminding the kids when we are coming from the church. How? What? Diamond love? How? Of love? Trust. Out of the favor. For your cousin is in love. Oh, you love me. You hold me. Forget to think about your time and love. We honestly would have preferred to have more time to work with the kids, you know, because uh, the more you work with these kids, the more you actually start learning about their talents, you know, because some of the kids, for instance, in drama, they didn't actually know that they could act, and then you get here and then you see a few rough diamonds and then they start shining. So we, you know, we felt like, and I personally especially felt like, you know, we could have done, uh, continued with this thing another six months, you know, who knows, uh, maybe even we don't even have to stop. Uh, moving forward, I think, uh, you know, to make this project sustainable, I think what I can recommend we do the next time if you're going to do this is actually have more platforms, you know, maybe uh, work around the communities themselves because sometimes it's pointless for these kids to, you know, work hard on their art and then they go to a festival and then their parents, you know, their communities don't actually get to see them. So I think uh, one thing that we, we, we should look at is actually, you know, giving them platforms in their own community so that these parents that, you know, don't take arts so seriously and they just will just play. Experienced facilitators with the incorporated genres facilitated the workshops and shared their experiences. I'm Jefferson J. Dirk Skorkia. I'm facilitating drama and I specialize in speech and movement. My name is Tavo Leonard Machavisela. I work with the chorus and to interpret the music. My name is Khalima Lebo. I am a poetry facilitator within this project. My name is Tawa Shomwane and my involvement in this project is uh, music direction. My name is Karavelo Legalake and I'm a drama facilitator. My name is Petronella van Royen and I am the administrator in the Freefia School Arts Festival for 2014. I believe the project has provided the learners with with relevant basic knowledge in a sense that they have, they came here with some sort of a clouded experience. By that I mean they had a, a specific idea of what poetry, acting or singing is all about, you know. But then us coming into the picture, we kind of brought a background knowledge of what the art, specifically the art of poetry is about, you know. We gave them um, relevant knowledge and practical examples, practical experience of how to grow and how to, to sharpen what they already have. I remember the first day when we got here, um, the kids, 
They are very shy. Even the teachers told us that they are shy. They didn't actually want to interact in, um, with the stuff that we are doing. But later on, as the time evolves, they start to speak to us and they start to talking about stuff. And now when we are busy with the drama stuff, they actually give us scenarios so that they can improvise in class using mime, dialogue and movement. Mom. And I think yes, um, they do start to express themselves artistically and in their personal lives. And I do think, and I'm a, I'm a firm believer of theatre that creates a self-confidence platform for learners. And that's why it's so important for learners to do theatre. We are working with passionate people, people who are passionate about the arts and dance, uh, dancers, uh, actors, uh, the singers the conductors, etc, etc. So, what, what is interesting about it, it is it's making sure that we go back to the community and give back to the community. And uh, by doing so doing, in the near future, we'll have um, the artists that have a good background from the township. That's very important. According um, to my observation, I think uh, we have uh, succeeded in instilling the basics uh, of the performing arts. Um, talking from the music perspective, I think the kids uh, did learn a lot. The first sessions we really did concentrate on uh, perfecting their art on stage. So I would say, in a nutshell, they did, uh, we, we did succeed in instilling uh, the basic skills of being in a professional uh, industry. I personally think that the kids have grown immensely so um, I mean, just checking the progress today, one could see how they were maintaining um, the characters, how they were able to tell the story that they themselves um, created. So if I have to compare them to the first day when we started to what, we, what I saw today, I think we were able to actually implement um, the goals uh, or the objectives of the project. Furthermore, the initiative provided the Frey Festival with an opportunity to invest in the arts program for disadvantaged learners. Schools such as Head Start Secondary, Udisa Technical in Bloemfontein and Emang Moho Comprehensive School in Kimberley hosted the workshops. Learners came in their numbers to partake in the workshops for learning and later received an opportunity to present a production at the Frey Festival 2014. I feel that the necessary knowledge in terms of arts, specifically referring to music, drama and poetry, has definitely been able to be passed over from the facilitators to the learners. As an observer of the whole project from the beginning to now, you can definitely see um, certain improvements in the learners themselves as well.
first time I heard of Way Festival, I was in the choir. And then I thought, um, when this guy, Mr. Tao, came and told us about it, I thought like it was some sort of something that, you know, only knew that I can see, can't dance. I thought it was like, like, I don't know what to say. I'm a choir member, I heard in the choir, and I thought they said they were into a very first, it's gonna be workshops. So I thought we we're gonna be taught about art and what's art and through all. My teacher also told me that we are going to act. First, I underestimated it, so I said maybe I should go and give it a try. Seriously, I didn't really have no idea about this. When I heard about the three years, I thought it was a festival like Makufu Festival. Yeah. I never thought it would be a festival where a drama and music is being combined together. I was not excited, ne? and I didn't even take it seriously. My friend encouraged me to join. I thought it was some kind of uh, 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 play with the music, with music and dance, something like high school, high school musical. I've learned so many things because I want to be a poet and an author. So this has given so has given me so much information about how to be disciplined and so many things. I learned not to be afraid to express myself in front of people. Not even in classes when we're representing, I can express myself representing the whole in front of the whole class and not be afraid. I've learned to concentrate and. Uh, a better way of understanding things. I've learned not, not to be afraid and always to face the audience. I've learned many things. I've learned that you have to be disciplined, be dedicated, be obedient and yeah, give it all your best. The first thing, I've learned how to respect, how to be myself and that's all. Everything not to be, not to be fair and concentration the most important. But I never see you. You can go and lose it. Lose it. So I'm going to Thank you very much, Mem Tetwa, the crew, and the trainers of these learners. There are a number of children that I see in the stoop here. I didn't know that they can do what they have done today. And then, um, I want to thank you. 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 You can really, really act. I'm very, very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much. The moment is... Um, I That was a wonderful one. <laughs> that was my main. And uh, also, when I should see the two love beds, just before the pastor also stood, and that was a very, very wonderful. And then I want to thank you very much, the dancers, and also the singers, all of you guys, the supporting team. Thank you very much for what you have done.